All right, today we are going to create our space for our marbles. We're going to be using value, which is how light or dark something is, and creating this illusion of a corner by using a diagonal line, a vertical line, and a horizontal line. The first thing we always do is write our name and your teacher's name on the back of your paper. On the front, we're going to make some simple, simple lines from one corner from the bottom left corner, you're going to make a diagonal line. So line up the edge of your ruler with the corner and make a diagonal line kind of to the middle of the paper, not too far. Then from that line, you're going to make a vertical line. Vertical is straight up and down. Not like that. That's diagonal. Not like that. You have to make sure that you look at the edge of your paper to make sure that those lines are parallel. Draw a vertical line. And then from that same point, you're going to draw a horizontal line, horizontal straight across. Not like this, not like this. Double check that the edge of your ruler lines up with that. And from that point, you're going to draw a horizontal line. So now you have your illusion of a space, of a room. Now you're going to use your paint. You're going to paint the black part first. And I'm going to give most of you will have this kind of flat brush. So you're going to dip your brush into the black. The corners are a little bit tricky. You have to go slowly when you go next to the corners. And then just smooth out that paint until you finish up the black. Go slowly by the edges. Once you've got all the black done, I'm going to give you guys messy mat so we don't get a lot of paint on the table. Just use this a little bit as my messy mat. You guys are all going to have your own black and white to make your value. So go all the way off the edge so you don't have any white spaces showing. This is kind of a thicker paper, so it will hold the paint a little bit more easily without it wrinkling. You can see I can kind of go faster in the middle, and I'm kind of going back and forth to get both sides of that paintbrush smoothing out that paint. I'm just dipping my brush in the black, going slowly by these lines to try to get those as straight as I can. When I run out, I just have to dip it in the brush again and then just pull that paint in towards the center of my painting. Okay, now I'm almost finished. Now once you're finished with the black, then you're going to create your value. And then you can do this bottom or the side. One has to be a little bit lighter than the other, so you can decide how you want to do that. And you can just use your eyeballs to decide. I'm going to have to get a little bit of paint on the table, but I'll clean that up. Okay. Now, this part you're going to mix. So I'm going to take some of my white, and I already have black on my brush. I don't need to rinse that out because I need some of that black on my brush. And I'm just going to kind of mix that together. The black will create that tint or that shade of gray. So if I like that white, it's kind of a light gray, I can keep that. Maybe I want it to be a little bit darker. I think I'm just going to keep that for right now. And I'm going to start painting in the next part. And I have these streaks, and I'm going to kind of keep painting those because I'm not sure I really want a lot of streaks. If you have a little bit of streaks, I think that looks kind of interesting. But this corner part, again, when you go next to the corner, go very slowly so you get a nice clean line next to that corner. And you can tell I didn't have a lot of black paint on my brush, but it created this nice light gray. Once I'm finished with that part, I can sometimes use this flat edge of my paintbrush to get a nice clean line. And some of this part, some of these we'll be able to cover up. If it's not perfectly straight, we'll be able to cover some of that up. Now, if you notice, I'm not really mixing too much on my little magazine. The more, most of my mixing is kind of on my painting as I am going back and forth. Kind of like when we did our Mark Rothko paintings, except this is a little bit different because we're just using white and black to make gray. Now, let's see, I'm kind of running out of this value. So I might have to add a little bit more black, but I think I'll be able to make it last. When I get to this part, I'm going to go slowly next to this line and then finish up with blending that in so it looks like it's all one part. Okay, so you'll probably finish that up just to show you. Now I need to make sure that this next part I do 
is going to be a different value than this, or obviously I'm not going to use black anymore. Black is my darkest value. So this one I'm going to add some more black. And I have a little bit of white left. I'm just going to add a lot of that black into it to make a nice dark gray. And now I can see, see that's a darker value than the one I just did. I'm going to slowly pull that edge. Notice how I'm keeping my paintbrush kind of straight up and down. Now this is going to be the tricky part because I want to get this nice corner. I can overlap my black a little bit by keeping that line straight. And then I've got all this paint on my brush. So I'm just going to pull that off to get that on my painting. And now I've got this darker gray color, kind of blending that in. I'm getting a little bit more of that paint off my brush. Got to make this straight right here, get a little bit more paint. And once I'm finished with that edge, that looks pretty good. I got a little bit down here to do. And then I'll finish painting that in, making that nice and smooth. And then when you're completely finished, it should look something like this. The shades will be a little bit different, but you'll see a dark value, the black, a medium, or a medium value, and then a lighter value. And then raise your hand and I will come get it.